quick revision video on cis-trans isomerism. So cis-trans isomerism is a special case of the z-isomerism where two of the groups attached to each carbon atom of the carbon-carbon double bond are the same. So I'll use butene to explain that. So you can see on each carbon atom of the carbon-carbon double bond we've got an identical group. So we could either be looking at the methyl groups or the hydrogens. So I'm going to go with the methyl groups. So on each carbon of the carbon-carbon double bond we've got the same group attached. So all we do in cis-trans isomerism is we describe the relative positions of the same or identical groups to each other. So in the one on the left, the identical groups are on the same side of the carbon-carbon double bond, whereas the one on the right, they're on opposite sides of the carbon-carbon double bond, or you could think of them as being diagonally opposite each other. So when the identical groups are on the same side of the CC double bond, we call this the cis isomer, and when they are on opposite sides or diagonally opposite to each other, that's what we call the trans isomer. So the left-hand molecule will be called cis-butuene, the right-hand molecule will be called trans-butuene. I'll just do a quick reminder of EZ isomerism now. So in case we have to label them as E-butuene or Z-butuene, how would we do that? If you remember, we look at the atoms bonded directly to the carbons of the double bond, and the highest atomic number takes priority. So carbon has an atomic number of 6 versus hydrogens 1. So priority groups here and here. So when the priority groups are on the same side of the double bond, that's what we call the Z isomer. So this would be Z butuene. And we also know now that it's cis butuene as well. When the priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, it's the E isomer. So we're going to look at this molecule now, and we're going to determine which one's cis, which one's trans, and also which one's E, which one's Z. So if we do cis-trans first, so we can see there's identical chlorine on each carbon of the double bond, so it does fit with the cis-trans method. So you can see how we're doing with the cursor there, they're diagonally opposite each other. So this one's going to be trans. And in this one, the identical groups are on the same side of the double bond, and so this one is cis. So EZ now, which atom takes priority on the left-hand carbon of the double bond? Well, bromine has an atomic number of 35 versus chlorine 17. So priority is here, and the chlorine trumps the fluorine because 17 versus 9. So your priority groups are both on the same side of the double bond. So this is actually the Z isomer. And on this one, we can see that the priority groups are diagonally opposite each other. So on opposite sides of the double bond. And so this is the E isomer.